Some bizarre video showing the moment an off-duty Salt Lake City police officer is accused of ramming his truck into another man's car. 37-year-old Thomas Cagle was arrested and put on administrative leave. Thanks for watching 2 News at 6 tonight. I'm Mark Cabell. And I'm Heidi Hatch. Officer Cagle is now facing several charges, including driving under the influence and negligent operation of a vehicle resulting in injury. KUTV's Amanda Gilbert live tonight after talking to the victim and his girlfriend about what happened. Yeah, a man who goes by the name Theodore Donnie is recovering at home. He shared his dash cam video on his YouTube of the incident. This is the moment Theodore Donnie almost lost his legs. Oh and it slowly kind of was like, hey, this guy's trying to kill me. It started Friday afternoon near the Ogden Mall. He and his girlfriend were stopped at a stoplight. You'll see a truck rear ends them. Oh my. They pull over and Donnie calls 911. So I got somebody rear ended me. At the no airbags went off. We're okay. They get out to inspect the damage and talk to the other driver. There was minor arguing between my girlfriend and him. Donnie moves the car forward a little more, then gets out preparing to call insurance. That's when the truck pins him against his Ford Fusion. The back of his bumper pressed up against the back of my knees and pushed both of my knees up in the air. Donnie's girlfriend tries to help banging on the truck's window. I felt so bad for her because I mean, it's such a traumatic thing to, to bear witness to. Somebody that you love is um, essentially getting crushed. Eventually, you see her get in the Ford and drive forward. Oh my God. If she wasn't there, I probably wouldn't have legs. I might even have been dead if she wasn't there. Donnie says right now no bones appear to be broken, but his knees are in bad shape. Like a watermelon, watermelon swollen knee right now. I mean, I can hobble, but I can't really walk. What's the message you want to share by putting the video out there on YouTube? Just, just know that the other person, the other vehicle could be dangerous. You don't know their history. And so you should always just take precautions by not getting out of your vehicle and you know, making sure the cops get there before you really have any type of conversation with that individual. And the Salt Lake City Police Chief did release a statement, and that reads in part, in reviewing the information and materials I've received so far, I'm concerned and disappointed by this incident, which does not align with our core values and expectations. I do want to mention some nearby witnesses did jump in to help. Amanda Gilbert, KUTV, 2 News.